Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies uh, and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, both are welcome. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Talking Trends for Monday, March the 19th. Yeah. We are almost through March, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, thank the good Lord above. I don't want to do any more push ups, please. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, for those tuning in for the first time, uh, this is Talking Trends. Myself and Tony Fine engaging news stories from across the globe, and we bring them to the comforts of your home, your cell phone, your laptop, wherever you may be. We're bringing it to you. And since this is unlike any other podcast, mm -hmm. we do this live. So we want to hear your comments and opinions on such stories. But before we get into the stories, yeah. how was everybody's weekend? Was it good? You guys have a good weekend? Thumbs St. up. Pat St. Patty's weekend? St. Patty's Day weekend. Jeez. Did you survive? Hopefully none of you guys got stabbed over the weekend. <laughs> oh, you're going to go there already? Uh, I had to. Wow. Okay. I, listen, I showed you that story. I was like, whoa. I was yeah. like, I, you get kicked out of the story. Not that it's a good thing, obviously, no. but we will mention the places or, or whatever. No, but. no. But it's almost to be, we said on the Friday, it was going to be a, a wild weekend just because St. Patrick's Day fell on the Saturday. Yeah. So you expected people to turn it up an extra notch. Something's going to happen when you have St. Patrick's Day on a weekend. I mean, if, even on a week, it's still crazy here in Halifax. It doesn't True. make a difference, but you amplify that and put it on a Saturday. You're asking for trouble. This is true. I didn't go anywhere. What did you do? Dude, I... I saw you with your book all cuddled up. I stayed my butt <laughs> home. I did nothing at all, and like it was a beautiful situation. Man. One of my one of my funnest weekends. Your most favorite St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Not going to lie. It was a pretty good weekend. You I, cuddled up with a book? Yeah. Do you know what? I watched uh, my the Boston Bruins um, beat Tampa Bay on the weekend, which yeah. was great. And yeah. uh, Tampa Bay's doing really well this year. They're like the yep. number one team. So we spanked them 3 nothing. Ouch. <clears throat> and it was a good game. So that was all I did on the weekend. Uh, you, on the other hand, you went skiing, went snowboarding. I, didn't, I went snowboarding yesterday for the first, well, the second time officially. Yeah. Listen, I like it. I really had a good time. I'm not that great. The Bunny Hill, I rocked that. Nice. But, you know, aside, <laughs> aside from I'm a baller out there. No, I took my oldest daughter. She wanted to go. She begging to go. I'm like, you know, let's go. We nice. got a lesson. You can learn a lot in them lessons. And shouts out to Martok, man. They got great instructors. And they got lots of snow up there. Yeah. It closes March 25th, so if you still got a chance this week to get out there, I might sneak one more time in hey. before it's all said and done. But, yeah, I had a good time. And I didn't do anything for St. Patrick's. At home, actually, similar to you, with a book. I just kind of stayed home. I kept it. It's how boring we are. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the life. Uh, oh, God, yeah. I, you know, but, it, yeah, it was interesting because usually you know, every, every other year I would do something. I'd be, I would be one of those people out in the streets. But Sunday was the best. No hangover? No Sunday. All I saw on Facebook was, oh, I'm so hungover. I'm so <laughs> It's like. That's a shame. I'm going snowboarding. I fool. know. I'm not, and I feel pretty good. I I'm not missing it right now. No, to, to be a hundred percent honest. You're on a roll. I'm going from ninety days being man. absolutely sober, not a drop of booze in this body. My God, that's like a that's like a you doing a stint. I know. <laughs> I know. I feel like I am. So that's all good. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, do you want to shout through the roll call before we get to started? Well, let's do it after your uh, little topics. Okay. Once you announce the topics. All right, we'll do it up. Uh, so today, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about these topics on Talking Trends uh -huh. for today. Uh, rest in peace to Mike McDonald. Yes. Uh, comedian. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, passed away on the weekend. Canadian comedian passed away at 63. Uh, Well-known comedian uh, in Canada. And uh, uh, anyway, uh, another, another great Canadian comedian lost. Uh, yeah. Loved by a lot of people and... Man, what a success story this guy. Um, decades of pleasing the people of Canada. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we will be missing uh, Mr. Mike. So rest in peace to yes. you, sir, and Absolutely. condolences to friends and family, no anybody doubt. related to him. No doubt. Uh, interesting story. Another yeah. interesting story. Um, Saudi women now yeah. apparently going to have the choice to wear the headscarf. I'm telling you, bro, this guy's rocking it. I'm liking this prince. We uh, talked about him before. We'll talk about him again. This is true. Yeah. Uh, up after that, uh, a teacher <clears throat> crushed a girl's kind of uh, dreams for career day. <laughs> Dude. She asked the kids at school, hey, think of a career, and we'll talk about it the next day. This girl comes in. I want to be Olympian. Teacher shut that down, said that's not a real job. It's not a good job. It doesn't pay well. You can't be doing that. can't be doing that. You can't be crushing kids' dreams. No. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. After that story... Ugh. 
80s, 80s <laughs> action star. That's a great picture. Steven <laughs> Seagal, now the rapist. Yeah. He's up on some serious accusations yet again. Apparently. Uh, for being very inappropriate. Looks with, like a blowfish in that picture. Man. Well, that's that's just the way he ages. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. Uh, and we'll talk about that. Tony has the full story on that. And then finally, uh, a lady beats up a naked intruder who comes into her house with a baseball bat, <laughs> and rightfully so. Yep. Anybody naked rolling in through your window, <laughs> get the bat ready. Yep, exactly. Um, hit him with the roll call, Leanne. Welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us. Yogi in the house as always. Much love, brother. Lisa, Leanne, Lauren, uh, Julie, Carrie, Avery, uh, Ben, Ashley, T. Woo in the house. And William, thank you guys for joining us today. Mm -hmm, Much mm -hmm. appreciated, and uh, we promise we won't let you down. No, we will not let you down. And no. speaking before we... Ah, one more thing before we get started. What do you got? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the push-up cam for March. Our challenge for March. If any of us swear, Tony or myself, we are subjected to 10 push-ups yep. per swear word. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure how many we, we're up to, but we, we've... Considering, I think we've done pretty well. Not too bad. I think I've done probably like five sets. You've done maybe six. Probably I six, think or six seven. sets. So, yeah. You know, not too bad. We can handle it. Yeah. We in shape. We're in shape. We'd be Somewhat. eating the right thing. Somewhat in shape. <laughs> I'm getting there, Tony. We almost in shape. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to be built like you, Tony. No, no, no. Uh, built like Steve Jobs. Buff Steve Jobs over yeah. here. <laughs> My Steve Jobs sweater. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sweater working or what? I thought it was pretty good until I looked in the mirror. I was like, man, you look like Steve Jobs right now. No hair and black sweaters that's good man anyway it's a, it's a good look it's all good uh speaking of great looks right now yeah for uh saudi arabia yep saudi arabia is a kicking it up a notch and uh trying to make some progressive changes as we've we've uh, reported before about this prince prince mohammed bin salman making some great changes uh to the country there um in the way of women and rights so basically women in saudi arabia need i like the way you said that instead yeah. of women's rights women, what did i say <laughs> Women in rights. Women in rights. It was interesting. Anyway. Women and rights. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> women in rights. I started to read the thing. That was a problem. Fair enough. Because it says women in Saudi Arabia uh, need not wear a head cover or uh, the black abaya, yeah. the loose fitting full length robes symbolic of Islamic uh, piety. Uh, as long as their attire is decent and respectful, the kingdom is reform minded crown prince said that's what he said so as long as it's decent and respectful he will go with it uh with the uh sorry with the ascent to power of uh, young Prince Mohammed Bil Bil bin Salman, uh, the kingdom has seen an expansion of women's rights, including a decision to allow women to attend mixed public sporting events and the right to drive cars uh, from this summer. So starting this summer, of course, coming. Changes have been hailed as proof of a new progressive trend towards modernization in the deeply conservative Muslim kingdom. Although the uh, gender-segregated nation continues to be criticized for its continued constraints on women. Uh, he goes on to say his quote, quote from him, the laws are very clear and stipulated in the laws of Sharia, which is Islamic law, that women wear decent, respectful clothing like men, Prince Muhammad said in an interview with uh, CBS. Uh, quote also, this, however, does not particularly specify a black abaya or black head cover. The decision is entirely left for women to decide what type of decent and respectful attire she chooses to wear. I like this approach. This guy is the man right now. We've he's 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 hitting all shots from the free throw line right now. He's literally a hundred percent, at least in my books, from what we've covered. Yeah. I don't know what else he's been up to. I'm just only saying from yep. what Tony has brought to the table. True. True. He. Uh, I like just as you said. I like what he's doing. Yeah, it's a great move. Uh, he said Saudi women have, or he didn't say. The reporting Saudi women have started wearing more colorful, colorful abayas because usually it's black traditionally. Right. In recent years. Um, I can't imagine how hot that gets, man. Dude, can you imagine? It's like 50 degrees out there. Right? It's like super hot. And then on top of that, you don't have a choice to, like, you're only allowed to wear black. That soaks up and all the light. It's covering heat. every inch of your body except for your eyes, basically. And in some cases, it covers your eyes as well. Oh, um, so I started wearing more colorful abayas in recent years. The light blues, the pinks. And in stark contrast with the traditional black, right. open abayas over long skirts or jeans are becoming more common 
uh, in some parts of the country. So good on them. I like March it. 8, a group of women in Saudi Arabia uh, in the city of Jeddah marked International Women's Day by exercising uh, one of their newly acquired freedoms, the right to go for a jog, paying no heed to wow. uh, uh, boomized onlookers. So, you were, they uh, weren't allowed to jog? I guess you can't go jogging. I guess. Well, how would you jog in that thing anyway? Well, it's true. So you could put on, uh, apparently now you could probably put on like a, a jogging suit if it's covering most of your body yes it's true and you're okay to go do that i mean there's what we take for granted i think in a lot of situations here in the western side of the world mm -hmm. these women don't have those uh, freedoms but um this prince right now is, is making some pretty uh, uh uh great changes and, and some not, would say radical well you know what but he, i mean he, like uh, and for me i'm just yeah. saying this is again awesome changes yeah and get, believe you me he's still being criticized for these changes clearly criticized by his own people the male population whatever sure. the case may be but you know what he doesn't seem to care and he's doing it anyway and good on him i mean you know you gotta get the the women voting that's the saying, key right man. Now, right? everybody we're all people <laughs> i we're mean all people, man. I, 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 and again I, I don't think i could say it is better you like i think we over here uh we're so accustomed just to having everything yeah uh we're allowed to vote we're allowed to go jogging we're allowed to wear whatever we would like to wear and, yeah. and, and it is a little bit surprising when you it's the year 2018 and there's still so much to do progressively uh, i mean yes overall in the world i think we've come a, f a fair amount but there's yep. still a long way to go clearly in this case and it's good that the uh we have people uh who are willing to you know put their put put themselves out there and be like let's try this change yeah you know what's what's the hurt in this like what's the harm in doing this yeah you know? i think the advantage obviously is a younger prince i mean that that's in control right. he's 32 years old apparently um which i don't know if is young for a prince or not but he's got that that mindset of a younger person a new generation and things that need to be changed should be changed that are not affecting you know um the safe or security of that region i mean you know these things aren't killing people it's just providing an equal playing field for all genders over there and that's a good thing so yeah. uh yogi says uh, tk swears the most because you did the most push-ups yes <laughs> I swear he also that. says buff jobs yes I guess. <laughs> that's the new name i guess steve buff steve buff jobs but yeah uh, good on the prince the prince is doing this thing and uh you know anytime he puts up a story like this i love to report it because i think it's super positive agreed uh yeah. shouts out jim shouts out chris for for joining in um yeah. up next mm -hmm. career day yes you know you like career day i like career day i always like going to school as a kid and thinking about what i may be i think i when growing up as a kid i wanted to be a veterinarian oddly enough because Good. i'm like deathly allergic to cats and all kinds of other <laughs> animals but uh i wanted to be <laughs> a vet. seemed like a good job yeah i wanted to be yeah. Yeah. Like, you know but hey you know what no one was there yep. to crush those dreams no, no teacher was like that's a stupid career right as well, they should be encouraging you right right not in this not case, in this case. <laughs> so Jeez. an olympia comes to defense of this girl after a career day confrontation uh, a mom was outraged after her child came home from career day at school with her dreams uh demolished <laughs> uh, right quote unquote i'm nine years old and i'm in the fourth grade hannah turpin said she like most kids had big dreams uh she wanted to be she was quote unquote I want to be an Olympic gymnast because when you do cartwheels and stuff, it just makes you feel like you're flying, she said. I love that reason. Okay, cool. Great. It wants to feel good. Awesome. So on college career day at Cloverland Elementary, she suited up and practically flipped to class. Um, one person said they, they wanted to be president. Someone else said they wanted to be in agriculture, an artist, she said. But when it came to Hannah's turn to stand up and tell the class what she wanted to be, mm -hmm. it wasn't well received. I said to my teacher, I want to be an Olympic gymnast. And my teacher said, well, that's not a career. A career is a job you get paid for. Wow. Uh, this really hurt me to hear that someone would squish my kid's dream like this. Uh, this is what the mother said. Right. Uh, she said, well, if Hannah had paid attention, it happened to be career, day, career and college day. She chose to come in as an Olympic gymnast, and that's not a career, teacher said. Jeez. Um, so there were hard words to hear, of course, especially, again, for a nine-year-old. Like, you're saying that you're a teacher, you're <laughs> saying this to a nine-year-old, a, a girl or a child in grade four. Um, man, this person has problems. Yeah, um, I'd say. 
so it was sad because you know she just said no really and it feels like she just said she was crushing uh hannah's dreams but the mm. fourth grader felt like uh olympians would disagree so she posted to her mom's social media because she's not old enough of course uh she said hi my name is hannah i'm in the fourth grade and i'm nine this is my mom and dad's page i'm not old enough to have one yet <laughs> i want to ask if you could come help me out i had a career in college uh I had a career in college day at school, and I dressed up as my dream to be an Olympic gymnast. My teacher said it's not a career. She made me so sad when she told me this. Can you please help bring uh, the USA team to my class to tell my teacher it is a career? She doesn't believe me. Thank you. Hannah. Not asking too much. <laughs> not asking too much. Just asking for the uh, USA just Olympic, come to my school, will you? <laughs> Olympic team to come through. You're close, bro. Um, so anyway, Olympic... Uh, Somebody from the Olympics did show up. Wow. Um, Olympic Kendall Wessenberg. Uh, she said, sorry, um, quote, unquote, she had said that people are going to tell you you can't uh, over and over. But then she said, just believe in yourself and work on your dreams. Uh, Hannah believed right then uh, and there that anything is possible. So um, good for her. Big ups to the Olympian who came through and, uh, and said. Not, and not a big ups to that teacher. A world a, is that? A big F you to that teacher. Then someone's kid got up and said they wanted to be president? Yeah. Is that a career choice? <laughs> like, that's... Uh, right. that's Especially that's, see this day's, day and age. <laughs> well, I guess anyone could be president, I suppose. That's the yes. lesson learned from that. Anyway, we won't say it because then i got to go do push-ups. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I think that's more, that's more far-fetched than being an Olympian. Like yeah. becoming your odds of becoming president, I'm sure, are a lot worse than becoming an Olympic athlete. Yeah, that's true. Without a doubt. If yeah, if you probably were to put numbers to it. And is that like would you consider that a career? That's not really a career. It only lasts four years. Maybe four to eight years. I think the biggest thing was the teacher was arguing you don't get paid for that. Clearly this teacher has no idea what it means to be sponsored when you get no to the clue. Olympic level. Maybe she's a failed Olympian. Maybe she's just failed in <laughs> Maybe life. Maybe she's just a failure. I think she's probably been, maybe it's her who's yeah. probably been told no a bunch yes. of times. And then I think that's just the way she's ingrained it in her mind. And she's like finally a teacher and she's like, well, she just passes that on. So maybe I can't even be mad at her. But yes, I can because, you know, she Dude. should she should be offering, like giving the opportunity out. Like you can dream big. Don't. And it just as the Olympian said, like, just dream big. Like exactly. people are going to tell you no. Yeah. But. You pursue your dreams. I love it because she. I like the Olympian brought that up. Like yeah. People are going to tell you, you know, those negative people. And here's an example of one of those negative people. She's like, listen, this person here, this teacher that's supposed to be encouraging you, there's one of your negative people right there you're going to encounter. Exactly. So get ready for this type of person. Exactly. And that person is supposed to be the opposite, which is the person who's encouraging children. Like, man, if I found out a teacher did that to one of my kids, I'd be like, the world kind of people are you hiring in here? Exactly. I don't get it. But I think we've, I don't, I don't think I've, I've talked about it with people before. School is not designed to create free minds. It's not. It's designed to create, it's, yeah. it's, it, it's a structure that's been put in place to create workers, to Here, fit into the system. That's it. And you know what? Here's an interesting question mm -hmm. when it's usually asked. I find it funny. Um, who's your favorite teacher? Why isn't the question. Who's your favorite teachers? Like it's always just usually right. one, one teacher, one teacher throughout like your entire school, yes. um, career, career school, um, timeline in school. I mean, I've had. I'm trying to think. Who was your favorite teacher? Teachers, uh, Mrs. Miss Sullivan, grade five teacher, one okay. of my favorite teachers. I'm trying to think if I had another uh, uh, grade eight English teacher was good too. English teachers seem to do it. For some reason, because their their mind is not boxed in. I had a crush on. I had a crush on a. We're not talking about a, crushes. A grade twelve English teacher, but that's a whole other. That's well, a whole other episode. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, listen. Yeah. I had a couple of favorite teachers too. They're English teachers. Right. The one thing that was great about them, and usually I think in most cases, and correct me if I'm wrong, most people that have certain teachers that they're favorite, they're the out of the box teachers. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that maybe cursed in class every once in a while, or did things that weren't traditional. Right. Those are your favorites. Why? Because that lets your mind do things outside the box like yeah, yeah. be creative and stuff or be different yeah the ones that are always hated are the ones that opened the book and just wrote on the board and it was just super like boom 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 boom, boom. exactly this person here this teacher that needs to be reprimanded yeah those are the people that just have missionary sex then they go home yeah nothing else just straight out 
<laughs> in and out, put it through the, the hole in your underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Are you done yet? Agreed. Okay, cool. They don't even have sex for fun. It's just straight out to have babies. That's it. Just that's those because those, that's, those teachers. Because that's what sex is for. It's for reproduction only. Yeah. These, Didn't you know that? They have no fun. Zero Ladies, fun. These te- you're, but your favorite teachers, they're out there doing it wherever. On the couch, on the table, <laughs> oh. trying all kinds of crazy stuff. Tables are good. Yeah. Every, every <laughs> Nothing's ever happened on this table. <laughs> Nothing at all. Except for talking trends. Yeah. Uh, and, and push-ups. And a push-ups, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. Uh, Jeanette agrees with us. Uh, Julie also says she's probably just mad because she can't do the splits. Those who can't do it themselves teach. Well, that's the thing. And I honestly think point. this is probably her. I think she's probably been told no throughout her time. Uh, or maybe she's just failed at the goals that she may have set for herself. And she just passes that energy on, unfortunately, to... The kids in class that is a major major problem i think there should be something very seriously done with this teacher and that's no joke i mean i just that's like one of the things you're supposed to be doing is encouraging these children right and you're automatically saying you can't yeah like, like wow that's huge this is the future she's nine years old nine years old grade four no you can't do that no it's stupid. gonna be like whoa that's dumb. like are you supposed to be helping me like lord, i don't like it lord of mercy and i have mad respect for teachers but that teacher you got to go. Speaking of people that gotta go, you gotta go too. Steven, mother, it's to go. Easy. Gotta get out of here. Shots fired again. Touching too many women. <laughs> shoving Listen. his thing where it doesn't belong. Shoving all kinds of things where they don't belong. Here. Uh, <laughs> the picture's <laughs> ridiculous. I will try not to. Yeah, obviously his. Oh my God. It's bloated face. That's a blowfish right there. Steven Seagal is in trouble again. Uh, accuser blaming him, uh, now accusing him of rape and robbed my virginity, she says, at a fake movie rap party. <laughs> so, this guy. Yeah, he's got the whole scenario worked out. Uh, one of two women who came forward accusing Steven Seagal of sexual assault claims he raped her while she was in her late teens and took her virginity. Regina Simones. Or Simon, sorry, uh, was flanked by her attorney, Lisa Bloom, at a news conference Monday and spoke publicly for the first time about the assault. Regina claims uh, Seagal uh, invited her to his home about 25 years ago uh, under the guise of there would be a rap party, a uh, wrap up party, like from a movie. She says uh, he took her into the bedroom, kissed her neck, and then raped her. Regina added, "She just never, straight like, at it. This just, Steve yeah. does no, you know, do a little bit. Of, yeah, no, no foreplay. No, nothing. Doesn't want to try to woo her. The fact that he her. even even just like he, he teased it for a second, and then he was just like, ah, you know what? No wooing involved. Unbelievable. Um, Regina added, she never, she'd never been naked in front of another man before. Because remember, this was in right. Her she's and, and yeah, well. And when it was over, uh, Seagal, she claims Segal offered her money, which is <laughs> it's a classy move usually after you know sexual interaction uh, to offer cash." always classy sign of a classy person yeah she says she never spoke to him again uh another lady of favolia dadis uh is the second woman accusing seagal of sexually assaulting her when she was only 17 years old Mm -hmm. she says that he allegedly uh, assault the assault happened in 2002 at the w hotel where she claims seagal pinched her nipples slid his hand under her bikini and touched her vagina during an audition because that's usually what happens in an audition, of course. Yeah, yeah that's what you have <laughs> to do. That's r- what you do when you uh, walk into an audition. You have to be prepared to is, yeah. be harassed yeah. when you walk in and uh, <laughs> act. It's, it's part of it. Yeah, it's part of the acting. Yeah, it's part of the role. Like, yeah. You've got to know better. No, right. come on. Yeah. Bloom wouldn't say uh, if they'll sue Seagal, uh, but all legal options remain open. Bloom says she, has spoken, she hasn't spoken to Seagal. They've reported the incidences. Uh, to the LAPD. This is the first time Regina uh, Regina and uh, Favolia spoke about the alleged encounters, although it's not the first time Seagal's been accused of sexual misconduct, as we've reported. Uh, Portia de Rossi claims Seagal put her her on a casting couch and unzipped his leather pants, because those are classy. Juliana Marglis (laughs) claims she had been in a hotel meeting with Seagal in the 80s, and he brandished, brandished a gun and didn't touch her before she fled. Uh, so yeah, Seagal's got a bunch of things going on right now. Um, man, just another one of those Hollywood stories, but this is, um, you know, when you're talking about a 17 year old, now you're going into the underage area. So it ends up, ends up being a whole new situation here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not good for Mr. Seagal. Seagal, I mean, he's just like clearly feeling a little bit above the law. Yeah. 
when he could just um just do do just act inappropriately like this i can't like i don't know like i feel that um yeah, I'm glad that a lot of these these people now are coming out, and yeah. they're they're clearly going to be out for justice. <laughs> oh man! No, what? I kind of like the way you did that. <laughs> right? It makes me itch a little because bit. it's it's good that he's he's finally under siege. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Rapid fire, people. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Anymore? I'm, I, That's good. I'm sorry. Yeah. I I saw the movie titles that were running through the head. Had to happen. And I had to had to do it. But uh, um, T-Woo says that goatee, though. Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, do you expect anything else from a picture of a man like this? I mean, you look at <laughs> this picture and you're like, yeah, I could see Steven in a pair of leather pants acting the way he's doing this. A pointy hairline, too. It's kind of like Dracula with that pointy hairline there. Yeah, he looks like a failed uh, vampire. Yeah, epically failed vampire. Yeah. Uh, he, he looks half past dead. Yes. Ivy in the house, DJ Ivy. Shouts out. Uh, he inserts a uh, sloth from the Goonies voice. Hey, you guys. <laughs> good addition. I like that. Uh, yeah, are you an actor? Don't I don't know. Maybe. That's good. I'm Steve Jobs, man. Yeah. Uh, Irvine says, after the white T-shirt incident, I don't know how to feel about you guys not wearing the same shirt. Just saying. I agree. We're probably going to have to have some sort of uniform or at least one day where we dress the same. You know, oh, I just thought of uh, the oh, challenge God. for uh, for April. Here we go. We have Why? To, should we coordinate for the entire month of April? Dude, that's a lot of work. That's harder than the swearing thing. <laughs> well, I just got to call you in the morning and be like, yo, what, what color shirt what do you, you wear? Yeah. The color coordination? Yeah. We could do that. Well, let's say, oh, we'll keep it really specific. What, what shirt are you wearing? You know, I don't want to be like, yo, what do you wear? We'll wearing? just be a it's different a color. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look like a freaking rainbow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Yogi, of course, do it. Uh, Irvine, yes. Uh, <laughs> when you, of course, everybody agrees. Why wouldn't they agree? We're here for your entertainment, of course. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Seagal, get it together, man. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Steven Seagal, um, you were never my, my favorite actor in any B action uh, movie, but... He was never mine either. No, I just, it, you're more of a, you were more of a joke, sir. Yeah. And this, upon hearing these stories, you have preceded that. I was a Chuck Norris kind of guy. Chuck Norris, because that guy is a killer. He's a real killer. He's like 80 years old, he and I'm still afraid. Bru he fought Bruce Lee. He fought Bruce Lee, right? Bruce Lee. Steven Seagal fighting high cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, didn't. Fighting off a heart attack, perhaps, and now to top it all off, fighting off and probably won't win against these rape charges. Uh, yeah, these are accusations as of now, but as we know, oh, sorry, things, accusations. As they uh, develop, uh, when the charges officially come down the line, which I'm sure they will, yeah. you don't make it public unless you're going to go. Uh, I'm sure make it official. And I think it's a lot of cases with a lot of these accusations so far haven't seen charges, but they will come, people, and we will be the first to let you know. Oh, Jean Claude Van Damme, Ivy says, yeah, he was pretty. Yeah, he was he was a beast. I still yeah. have to see that movie JVD. It's uh, anyway, he's a beast. I, yeah, no, John. I, yeah, big respects to John Claude and uh, who's another one? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. <laughs> yes, seriously, dude. Jackie Chan. Forget about. It. He's doing Rush he Hour does, Four. Does his own stunts. Has always done his own stunts. Dude. Can fight. Can uh, he looks pretty much the same. He can sing. He can sing. You heard him? He dropped albums. This yeah. guy's serious. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Shouts out to uh, Jackie Chan, another favorite uh, actor, martial artist. We could go on about action stars, but yeah. we digress. Yeah. Uh, Charles Bronson, shouts out. Another uh, classic old man. Totally. Just guy against the world. Yeah, yeah we should just have an action action episode. Man. There'd be so many. There'd be a lot. Yeah, be Take a our lot. favorite scenes. Uh, oh, yeah. I like that. Speaking of action. This could be an action, action. movie. Yeah. Um, this wo a woman shouts out to the ladies holding it down. All the single ladies. All the ladies uh, who used a baseball bat to fight off an intruder. <laughs> Not just any intruder, but no. a, a naked intruder. There you go. Uh, a Phoenix woman wasn't going to let a half-naked intruder win after he broke into her apartment and attacked her. Uh, Simone Parker said that she was alone when she says, A pantless man. <laughs> entered her home, pulled out a knife, and demanded clothes and money. I don't know where he was hiding this knife. Right. Um, so she said, I gave him a green T-shirt, which is pictured here, and he put the green T-shirt on, and I was looking for some pants, and I'm like, forget that. I'm going to get him no pants. I'm going to get the bat. <laughs> so I got the bat, and I went at him. 
Right. <laughs> That's what uh, Simone said. Um, she said she tried. She tried to fight back with her bad, but um, he eventually, uh, unfortunately, overpowered her. I went into my room and, um, sorry. She went to go back into her room and started swinging. I uh, hit him on the back of his head. Uh, he turned around and I whacked him in his face and struggled and he took the bat from me. Parker says the intruder ended up striking her with her own bat. Um, mm. He then ran to another area of the apartment complex but didn't get far. A neighbor uh, and Parker's son, Devin, wrestled and restrained the man until Phoenix police uh, officers arrived to arrest him on the scene. Anyway, the guy was eventually identified as 29-year-old Timothy Valdez. Uh, Parker has a few bumps and scrapes. Um, Valdez need to go to the hospital for his injuries, though. Ouch. Huh? Walk away with a couple scrapes. Yeah. But you limping, son. Um, at the time of the arrest, officers overheard uh, Valdez telling firefighters that he entered the apartment in search of clothes and that he deserved what happened to him, Man. according to the, to the police report. But he later told police that he had been high on meth. And didn't remember anything. That explains so, it. Yeah. Meth will do that to you, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, Valdez was charged with burglary, armed robbery, kidnapping, and aggravated assault and booked into the Marcopia County Jail. He's being held on a $125,000 bond just in case if anybody wants to uh, help him out. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be the first in that line. Yeah. Good Lord. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just think, you know what I, th- I want to get this year? I always wanted one of those, like, little billy bat, the tiny little bats. Like Where the, the uh, baton? No, not the baton. Oh, like just a mini bat? little mini bat. Oh, you can get those. Yeah, I want to get one. I'm going to get one this year, probably yeah. hide it under the bed. You need a real, you need to get a real bat, man. Like a big bat? That little one won't do. I don't no, think. like the whiff, because you know what? The, the smaller ones. More versatile? More versatile. <laughs> Your swing is more sharper. It's not as uh, exaggerated, if if you will. It's right, just a right. quick like crack. If I crack anybody with that, they they will feel. You're it. gonna feel that. You're gonna think for a second, be like, ah, I should have not have came in this place and uh, tried Quite to rob idea. this this guy half naked. Well, Lauren knows what you're talking about. She goes, I sleep with a baseball bat next to my bed. There's a lot of psychos. <laughs> I don't see. That's what Good I'm point. saying. Julie says uh, you guys should have to take your pants off uh, if you forget that your white tees in April. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think we'll be shut down pretty quickly. We're either going to get shut down or we'll have a lot more viewers. Uh, or, yeah. not, or none at all. Or none at all. It's, there's three so options here. It'll either go to like 50 viewers a thing or zero. Yeah. Uh, or maybe Julia would just be the only one to tune yeah, in. Yeah, this is true. And uh, maybe Yogi because Yogi's like, he just did it on every show. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. But Who's yeah. to say we're even wearing pants right now? You guys don't know. Yeah. Well, if we got up to do push-ups, you'd know. Oh. We're not doing push-ups today. True that. Yeah. yeah, so we'll just do pantsless and, and do a shirt. Yeah. There you or go. we go shirtless. There you go. Either one is not a good you idea. You don't want to see anybody. these nipples shining, y'all. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see we'll that. We'll do the show in the dark. You don't have to. The computer can't handle all that. No, all you, that resolution. You've seen Facebook shut us down before. They shut us down three seconds if they saw that happening. Yeah, all these nipples. All, like, you don't on, want man. that nipple action. That? No, you don't want that. No. It's Glistening. Anyway, but uh, shout out to uh, the lady who <laughs> successfully defended her homestead yeah um, I, I want her on my team for sure Jeez. 100 you said she gave him a green t-shirt she was even nice enough to give him the green t-shirt and then beat him pictured here and she's like you know what i'll give you a green t-shirt you ain't getting no pants i'm giving you no damn pants you can take this bat to the face <laughs> <laughs> i like that she dressed him up before she beat him down yeah i like that yeah so that's kind of interesting <laughs> you dress him up just to beat him <laughs> just down to beat him down that's going to be the new one. I love her style. Yeah, me too. And shouts out to her and all the bat-wielding ladies out there. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, rightfully protecting their own. I Listen, love it. protect yourself. The yeah. Steven, Se- Steven Seagal's of the world. Exactly. For all... The- yeah. You know, you got to create a, a purse bat. Ooh, something that's just like... Just boom. something quick in. You're ready to go. But I mean, some... Oh, they have those, though, I Listen, guess. Ladies, no diss. Oh. But some of you guys got some really big purses. So, with Dude. that being said... <laughs> You, you can, can fit all you kinds can get, of You can get a couple bats in there. Bats, all kinds of things Everything. in there. Everything. Yeah. Uh, so, How yeah. How do we know there's not bats in there? I think they're already on top of it, uh, sir. I like it. Yeah. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> ladies. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was oh, too. ladies. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, shouts out to the bat ladies. Shouts out. Uh, good. Is that it? I think that's it, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Simple, clean, quick. I like it. <laughs> Yum. Simple. Okay. Do we have any guests this week? 
Uh, on some things. Waiting on confirmation for a couple Working people. Working on some things. All right. And hopefully get back to everybody with that yeah. said information to let you know who's coming on the show this week uh, because we would like to have weekly guests. And that's what we're striving for here on Talking Trends. We would enjoy that. Um, also, we talk at trends.com. Uh, we have a, a little website up now with uh, all the episodes yeah. um, that you may have missed. And if you are ever really, 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 really bored, <laughs> you can go back and put them on while you're in the bathtub, giving yourself a wash or put it on while you're in the shower <laughs> or <laughs> going for a jog. You, know, you seem to be in the, in the bathroom with these first two suggestions. I Listen, that's where I kill a lot of my podcasts. <laughs> Because I have the little, I, I have the speaker. I got yeah. the speaker on the wall, and I play it from my phone, yeah. and whatever. I'm. I got the same thing going, people. and I let it play in there, and that's how I get get, get caught up on a lot of things. Not that I'm having like really like long showers, but I you like, in there a long time. Yeah. Well, you got to take care of your body. This is true. Uh, yeah, or in the gym, or driving around, or whatever. People just listen to it. It's on. Yeah. Uh, we could t- we talking trends dot com for for all the episodes. Also, Check we are out. on uh, iTunes. So if you search talking trends, we should pop up. <coughs> we be there. The audio version of the show, and I think that is all. Shouts out to Kyra Productions for the graphics as always. Always, uh, always. Up if you need any such graphics done for you and your business. If you have any story suggestions, please chuck them our way. We'd love to hear them. And uh, if they're uh, something we select, we'll talk about it on the show, and it'd be cool. So we always like to hear from you guys. This is true. But we will be back again tomorrow, as usual. 5 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be right back here at Facebook Live talking trends. So join us again. We'll have a whole new slew of topics to talk about, and we encourage to see you again. I'll even give you a hint for tomorrow's show, because i got a headline that's too juicy. <laughs> mm. uh, tomorrow we'll be talking about this this lady mm-hmm. who hit and killed a kid. Mm-hmm. Eighty hours community service for Ooh. for a life. There you go. We'll talk about that and more on tomorrow's Talker Trends. Hope to see you there, ladies and gentlemen. We out. Peace. <laughs>